What's going on guys, JPP Tool here. Welcome to another commentary video. Hope you guys are having an awesome awesome weekend. And that being said, let's get on with our gameplay. This game I am going first, and if you look at my hand, this is another soft brick hand. Soft brick, if you guys don't know what it means, it means that you start with either prank is place or terraforming, and if your opponent ash blossoms those card searches or anyway in any way negate them you will be stuck with a dead hand. So anyways, let's get on with the gameplay. I'm going to activate terraforming. Search for my prankest place. Prankest place, I'll again search for a prankest monster, which will be dropsies. And I'll start going into my combo through dropsies. Gonna go into my Meowmoo, activate special, go into Doodle Doo, activate graveyard, chain link to Doodle Doo. Search for a prankest pranks, since I already have pandemonium plus the place. And then discard a copy of place, special out once again, go into another doodle doo, activate graveyard, get Roxy's, activate doodle doo, and get two cards into my hand. Okay, so right here, if you guys will notice, I do it differently. I get two copies of Prankist Monster from my graveyard off of doodle doo, because I already have Pandemonium in my hand. I don't need the other copy of place that I had in my graveyard, so that's why I got two copies out of Prankist Monsters instead of the usual one pandemonium plus one prank is monster. So let's get on with the gameplay. I'll activate pranks, discard a copy of the prank is monster that I got from the graveyard, get a token, and using the token in Roxy's go into my Bow Wow Bar. Bow Wow Bar is going to hit the field, I'll activate the Roxy's graveyard activation, banish the Lampsies, special at, draw off of the Roxy's effect I draw into a Fanzies. So at this time, I'm not going to special out another Fanzies. I'm gonna, I specialed out a copy of Lampsies. I did this because I wanted to keep the two copies of Dropsies in my deck in case off of the Butler combo, I wanted to go into my Totally Awesome on my opponent's next turn. So usually, I would either special out a copy of Fanzies or Lampsies at the end in case that I would never, almost never special out a copy of Dropsies because I do want to go into Totally Awesome if I can on my next turn. So that's the reason for the Lampsies over Dropsies. I'm gonna end my turn, recycle three cards with Prank is Pranks, go into an Ash Blossom, which is always pretty nice. Like drawing into negates off of the Prank is Pranks are, is always nice. So I will activate my Bawa Bark on my opponent's draw phase, get myself a copy of fans, uh, Dropsies plus my Prank is Place back. Because once I go into my butler combo, I'll end up using all three monster cards in my hand. And in case my opponent somehow wipes my whole board completely, I wanted to keep at least one starter card in my hand in case I don't draw into a starter card on my next turn. So that's the reason for getting Prankish plays out. So my opponent is going to activate Pot of Extravagance. I'm going to Ash Blossom it, don't want him drawing cards. And he activates the, that gra Grass Luke Screener because my opponent was running a 60 card stick. And that Grass Luke Screener is a really, really good card to run in a 60 card stick. So I'm going to instantly go into my Butler combo. At this point, I did not know I was playing into an Eldritch. So I'll pause right here. I saw the cards that it discarded. And if you look at the cards right here, like you instantly realize you're playing against an Eldritch player. And he was playing the... Uh, zombie world Eldritch version of the Eldritch with 60 cards. So I go into my butler, activate all three of my graveyard activations, and I chain link my place as chain link 3 and then cover it up as chain link 4 as fancies because I want my butler to go at 3500 because I know he's playing uh, an Eldritch, Eldritch zombie world and I already saw one Eldritch in his graveyard off of the discard effect. So his Eldritch will come on the field with 3500 attack. So in case he bumps into my butler, at least his Eldritch will die as well. So that's why I wanted my butler at 3500, and that's why I chain linked the way I chain linked. So my opponent chain linked and activated his Banshee to special out a zombie world, plus a Conquistador on the field, and he activates Reasoning. I select level 4, but sadly, he's gonna... So once the discard effect starts, the card that he flips over was a Golden Lord, so sadly... He got to special summon the, Go the Golden Lord. If I had hit level 12, I would have level 10 or 12. Level 10. If I had if I had selected level 12, that would have been you know. But still, it doesn't matter. So this Golden Lord, the first Golden Lord, he specialed out was popable with the Butler's effect. So I popped this Golden Lord, 
He specials out another Golden Lord with 3500 attack onto the field. So this is the reason why I wanted my butler at 3500. So it discourages him to bump into my butler to destroy his own Golden Lord. So he kills one copy of my uh, of my dropsies. So I off of the combo, I did do two dropsies because I wanted to go into my totally awesome. But sadly, he killed one of my copies. And he goes into Conquistador on his draw phase to kill out my butler. My butler dies, so I activate butler's graveyard activation. But sadly, he had a Hakuero setup as well. So he'll banish the card I selected, which was the Digital 2. And then he'll activate the Sanguine and sub special out the Doom King Balderdash. So he banishes my Digital 2. Sadly, no special summon. But thankfully, I started with the right Geki in my hand. So every other card on his monster zone, except for the 3500 attack, Eldritch will get destroyed with this. So I wanted to do this because Doom, Kill, Doom King Balladodge has the effect of negating any zombie monster's effect or banishing one from the graveyard. So I wanted to get rid of the Doom King before I go into my turn. So I'll do just that. I'll pop his field. I'll activate place, search for a prank as monster, and start going into my combo. First, I'll monster reborn a copy of my dropsies. And instantly go into my okay so I start my combo I'll probably go into totally awesome so I start my combo at first I lower the opponent's golden lords attack by 500 discard a pandemonium special out Roxy's so okay so at this point I'm thinking right like I know I can end him this turn and I know this card set down is I, I knew this card was set down was something that he can't use to wipe out my board. So what I do, I go into Borolod, Borolod Sword, Boral Sword Dragon, and since I had Thunder Dragon Fusion in my hand, I go into Butler. This will boost up my Boral uh, Sword Dragon plus Butler by 500. I activate Boral Sword's effect, steal half the attack, bump into Golden Lord, and hit him in the face with my Butler to end the game. I still would have had one more attack with my Boral Sword if I activated its effect to put my Butler in defense. So I would still have gotten over his life points and killed him that turn. But yeah, so I didn't go to Totally Awesome because I knew for a fact what the card that he set down was. And I knew that I could have ended him this turn. So that's why I just went into my combo to kill him. So that's going to be the end of the game guys. Hope you guys do like these commented videos. Please do let me know about them in the comment section. If you like the video, please consider hitting the like button. Subscribe, comment, share. You guys know what to do. This is JP Beetle signing off for today. See you guys in the next video. Peace!